On Wednesday, parliamentarians will choose a successor to Gotabe Rajapaksa, who fled the country and resigned amid massive public protests. As the vote approaches, the deal making is intense. Garu Dallas Peruma the opposition leader pulled out of the race and proposed former government minister Dallas Alha Peruma. The chairman of the Rajapaksa's SLPP party seconded the name. Another senior SLPP member proposed Ranil Vikramasinghe for the post. Seconding was this man who had been a vociferous critic. Vikramasinghe has been premier six times and is now the acting president. He's a familiar figure but not a popular one. Seen as a protector of the Rajapaksas, he is likely to have their support. This man is his main challenger, Dallas Alha Peruma, a senior politician sidelined by the Rajapaksa brothers. He first entered parliament in 1994. A few years later, he said he was disheartened and disgusted, but after a break from politics, he is back in the field. The third candidate is Anurakumara Disanaika, the leader of the National People's Force. His party mobilized tens of thousands of people from across Sri Lanka to march against the Rajapaksa government and Vikramasinghe. The outcry over the possibility of Ranil Vikramasinghe being elected is getting louder. University students joined trade unions to voice their opposition on Monday. Uh, right now, Ranil is doing uh, deal politics. We no, don't need deal politics. We need politics, better politics. Please go home, Ranil. How can someone fully rejected by the people be chosen as the president of the country? That's why we are totally opposed to this. A state of emergency was declared by the acting president on Sunday, giving police and military wider powers to arrest, detain and hold protesters, ban gatherings and crack down on dissent. But protesters say they won't be intimidated. The reality of Sri Lankan politics rivaling the best fiction you can read. A man who was voted in with a whopping 6-9 million votes to become president, forced to leave the country among public protests, and a man who is trying to become his successor who was thrown out of parliament. The Sri Lankan people hope that their wishes will be respected when the choice is made. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.